Welcome back. Welcome everyone to your automation training and job placement assistance program. Uh, we already discussed about core Java program. We know already variable data types, statements, different statements, Boolean, uh, looping statements, uh, methods, and object oriented programming. Now it is time to start learning um, Selenium WebDriver. Okay, let's go to this project, JUnit uh, Test Framework, and we already know uh, auto automation engineers use these folders src slash test slash java and java developers works here developers works here okay so i just take src test java and create a new package and i name it basic selenium okay and inside this uh, basic selenium we create a class and name it get the functionality test okay and just check in public static void name okay and i just paste here some um theoretical uh, contents for discussion what is selenium selenium is set of tools that automates browser based application or software okay and to test browser based web application or software or website we have to take three steps one is we have to find elements okay we have to find elements from web browser then we have to locate the elements then we have to pass the parameters then we have to take actions this three four four steps we take during test automation okay you will understand when i will demonstrate just try to understand we just take four steps and this is our job every single day we take four steps when we test software or browser based application and to find elements we need to also locate the element how we find and locate elements we use eight locators to find elements one is by id another one is by name class expert tag name css selector link text and partial link text you don't need to memorize it okay when you will practice at least four times you can remember all of them okay believe me you don't need to uh, you don't need to memorize them okay so web driver is a plus in driver equal to new chrome driver now if you look back when we create object in java we used to create uh, object from class we are creating this new chrome driver object from driver inside the driver we have also chrome driver gecko driver and some other browser driver uh, and they are also class okay subclass for web driver instead of web driver you can use chrome driver here too if you want okay uh, just i import it uh, web driver plus and chrome driver and now it's working fine and then uh, we already know this is a reference variable to 
to the new object and using reference variable you can access all the methods and properties of uh, web driver plus okay now uh, get method is a method to get web application i can say https colon slash slash facebook.com meaning i'm telling the driver to go and get facebook.com it will maybe get us to facebook.com when i just right button click and run as java application okay it invokes the browser you see from driver started successfully and navigate to facebook.com okay now this uh, browser window opens very narrowly just 50 percent now we can expand it we can expand it manually 200 percent just clicking here okay or we can tell the driver we can tell the driver hello driver go and manage manage is a command it is a method inbuilt method and what you will manage you will manage window okay and how it will manage we want it to maximize okay then semicolon now just right button click run as java application click ok and it will invoking the browser navigating to facebook.com and expanding the window automatically okay by this time we didn't need to expand it manually it expanded automatically but this browser window did not get closed okay now we want to get it closed automatically to do it we can say driver dot close okay and now just right button click run as java application and check whether the browser is getting closed okay invoking the browser navigating and it closed okay uh, and we can tell the browser to quit the session okay quit now if you are familiar with um, selenium web driver maybe you are wondering how without um, Chrome driver okay creating drivers here and without giving the path of it I'm running uh, the Chrome driver using Chrome driver okay uh, there is a secret okay there is a secret we can do it what I did I just set the global environment to the Chrome driver okay i just copy the path and set it to the environment okay maybe uh, some of you are understanding what i'm talking about and some of you are not okay but we can do this okay and some of you are wondering those who use web driver manager okay you are wondering how I am without using web driver manager okay we can actually import it web driver manager then I say Chrome driver then just say set up okay uh, without it I run it you know some of you are wondering how he's doing 
these are secrets I'm not going to tell you right now okay um, I will tell you in the next class how I am doing I will show you okay don't worry all right wonderful now I want to comment it because I want to test the application I don't want to close the browser window okay uh, it's invoking the browser navigating to facebook.com and maximize the window okay now we want to test it to test it first we have to locate the element to locate the element we have to right button click what are web elements okay these are web elements these are web elements okay let me tell you let's view the page source and these are the web elements the developers or software engineers they code and behind the scene there are a lot of programming language okay they use html css javascript php and some other languages okay now we have to find the elements and locate the elements okay how we can do it right button click inspect uh, then click on this inspector arrow icon it is called inspector so in the interview question they might ask you what tools do you use to find elements you can say i use uh inspector to inspect the elements okay when you click here now it is black when you click here it will turn into blue when it is blue it is active then go back to the email or phone number area you want to find the elements of this area okay now it has been selected selected and highlighted okay now look here look very carefully you see tag name is input and we have class locator we have name locator we have id locator and we can find css selector you see copy mm, selector and also we have copy export we can find export also here so we see five locators already here okay and also you can find link text and partial link text and input also input is tag name okay so thus we can find locators let me copy the elements for better understanding okay and i just uh, close it okay and just i put it here so that we can see clearly what are the elements we have right now okay okay we want to see what are the elements we have look we have class located we have class locator and we have name locator and we have name we have id locator and we have id okay and we have also tag name input okay fantastic actually we can use any locator say for example we want to take id then we have to copy the value of the id okay just copy it and we are taking id i just say 
driver find element find element is an inbuilt method that will help me to find element okay by i say id okay and inside id parenthesis i just paste the value of this id locator okay then i just say send keys okay then pass the parameter what parameter we want to pass qa automation job news at the rate gmail.com all right and and we semicolon in java program we have to terminate every code every program with semicolon we already learned it okay now find element is an interview question what is find element find element is just an inbuilt method to find element how we find element we find element by locator id okay and value of the id inside the parenthesis within quotation mark okay because email is a uh, string we already learn it when we learn java then to pass the parameter we have another method named send keys okay so there are two built-in methods okay now remember to find the to test the application we take four steps one is find element we already find the elements okay locate the element we already locate the element when we copy and paste here the element has been located then pass the parameter we are using send keys method to pass any parameter then another action we are going to take okay just copy i say 80 percent we copy and just 20 percent we code okay so i don't need to write this code again and again once i write one line i just can copy and paste okay so i just want to execute it okay it's invoking the browser navigating to facebook.com and pass the parameter it has been able to locate the element okay and pass the parameter that we wanted to send it okay now we want to pass the parameter uh, in the pass field also password field how we can do right button click go to inspect just click in inspector inspector icon then click on password field and it has been selected and highlighted okay now you can see now we have input tag again we have class we have name we have id we used id let me use now by name okay just copy go back just close it and we are using by name now okay just i type name and then paste the value for name okay then send keys just we send the password admin one two three say for example okay this uh facebook id is just for uh, practice you can just practice okay then just right button click anywhere within this canvas then run java application then click on ok button it's invoking the browser 
Again, navigating to facebook.com, expanding the window, pass the parameter to automation job news at the red gmail.com, then the password. Now we need to take fourth step, and that is take action. What action we will take? Right button click anywhere here within the application. Okay, click on inspector icon then the action we are going to take is after putting username and password we have to click on login right so click on login and we see login um tag name is button not input now button and uh class name and login okay let's now take export okay i copy export okay now this is called by default export sometimes by default export may not work i just paste here okay and i just copy driver the find element well, i told you 80 percent we copy then the action we need is click okay click now what is click command in selenium interview question click is nothing but a selenium command there is also a built-in method okay that we use to take action to click on buttons okay on uh, checkbox on radio button okay we will learn all these things step by step okay now uh, we are using xpath here okay xpath now we already copied the xpath here okay i told you sometimes this xpath doesn't work when it doesn't work we customize our own expert we can create develop our own expert we will learn it step by step don't worry about it okay you will become expert in just two months and comfortable to face interviews in third month okay you see passing the parameter but it's struggling to click on login button struggling to click on login button okay it's struggling it's trying but it's failing to click on it i told you sometimes the expert we just copy and paste doesn't work that's why you have to be expert you have to you have become you have to become expert okay now let's customize our expert okay the uh, regular expert by default expert is not working i just press ctrl f and the uh, formula to customize expert is double slash star okay start representing uh, the uh, tag name in square braces at the rate okay any locator so for example i'm taking id equal to within the single quote the value for the locators then close the square braces okay let's see what is id here id is this okay or what is name i can take name also i better take name okay so instead of id i'm taking name locator name and the value for name is login and when 
I created this X path. You see, it has been highlighted with yellow mark. Okay, that means it has been able to locate. Okay, successfully, and it's showing there is one of one X path. There is one X path, and it is unique. If it is, it says one of two X paths, meaning it will not be able to locate. Let's copy and go to our uh, project and just paste here the spot. Okay, we have created. Now uh, just save it, right button click, run as Java application. Java application, wonderful, and yes, it has been able to click on the login button and we are inside the Facebook notes, okay, and we can now activate, okay, uncomment and take it out. And now we can execute the test case. It's invoking the browser, maybe getting and passing the parameter and closed. Okay, so finally we have been successful. I can say C so control space bar, press enter and say the test completed successfully okay and if we want we can also print the title to print the title we can say driver dot get title now it is interview question how you can get title okay and you can store it inside a string variable uh, actual title okay and just print it see so control space bar okay and just say just copy and paste the variable when you Print it actually actual title. What it is saying actual title cannot be resolved to a variable. Actual title. Okay. Let's make it. A Actual, sorry, actually, I title, no, it's fine, mm. and actually, you can say the actual title is Alright, right button click Java application, click on OK and navigating to Facebook, passing the parameters and click on login button and it has been printed actual title is Facebook login or sign up. Okay, fine. Even you can same way find out expected title okay 
how you can get expected title actually you have to go to facebook.com right button click then just go to head tag and find title tag here what is title title you see facebook login or sign up just copy it okay we will teach you later uh, all these things how to find out and we will be learning uh, basic html css and javascript without understanding all those technologies you can uh, do software testing not a problem at all but if you understand all those technologies front-end technologies it will be quicker uh, to understand everything and take actions okay so it is better to learn all these things and this is expected title and this is actual title now actually you can compare to compare we use a search a search equals okay and a search equals a search equals a search equals hmm we take the first one okay we see this is expected the first one is ex expected and the last one is actual so i can say expected title is equal to actual title this is the mechanism in uh software testing with selenium that we are saying not every equals but s equals okay we are now comparing expected title is equal to actual title if they are comparable similar equal then the test will pass if it is not matches if it does not match test will fail let's see it's invoking the browser maybe getting to facebook.com passing the parameters click on login button and test completed successfully let's see actual title is this and if it is not same say for example log in or sign up there are two in what happens okay let's see if it is not equal what it will happen wonderful wonderful and see actual title is facebook sign up okay mm -mm. and we don't see the test successfully completed the message because exception in thread main you see login sign up login or sign up but login sign up so it didn't match comparison failure expected and actual didn't match okay so ultimately the test fail so sign up there is extra n now if i take it now again execute it java application and run the test it's invoking the browser navigating to facebook.com passing the parameters and click on login button 
okay wonderful and if you now go comparison failure again what's the wrong okay let's see sign up facebook login sign up i didn't say it maybe that's why okay just execute it again working the browser navigating and passing the parameter click and login button and test completed successfully okay now this has been passed okay now this is our test case okay if you want now even you can uh, develop a test framework you can just say add the rates before method okay you don't need to know right now okay i just say void set up okay i can say public void public void setup okay and import testing the library and just import before method and if you use before method you have to use after method also at the rate after method okay and i just say public void tear down okay and just copy it paste it inside of it import after method and now this is another method and this is another method now i have to make it global so that every method can access the web driver i can just make it global okay to make it global i have to take out the uh, driver class with driver class and now it has become uh, public static void or i can just say void setup okay insert semicolon what's it talking about okay mm. let's see okay fine when we use test ng we don't need this main method because instead of main method we are using test ng at the test okay and uh, i think i have to take out this one okay all right any problem all right okay it will be okay when i will use test annotation okay 
Mm, it is void. Mm, I can say test functionality of Facebook. Now I just copy it. This is a test case, okay, and I just take not change library, I'm taking test engine, okay, and I take it the right test and make it void title test. And this is another test method. Mm -hmm. yes. Indented. Okay. Now I just can import tests and now I have only one. Duplicate method setup in type error. Actually, saying there is all. I get it. I get it. this one. Setup method is creating problem. Okay. It should not be problem duplicate method setup type would be functionally to test okay what's wrong let's check I got it there is another setup method okay fine now uh, this is actually a test framework the test engine okay you don't need to know it okay I just want to uh, demonstrate how we can also uh, convert a simple test into test engine framework we will learn test engine framework uh, in the next session okay uh, now we have two test cases at the rate right test uh, meaning it is a test case and this is another test case now you can also use another test case this is test function to Facebook with correct credentials and this is with incorrect credentials okay incorrect credentials so i just put admin one two three four okay and perfect we have three test cases by this time now if you want actually the you know, test engine framework is so powerful you can test complete end-to-end -end application. You can um, put uh, 50 test cases in just one um, test suit. You can put 100 test cases, but in real project when we work, we uh, break down all these test cases uh, as per our project requirements, okay? Right button click, uh, run as test and the test, okay if you become expert you can convert the test cases uh, uh, simple test into uh, actually um, test ng test framework the way i have done it but you have to become expert to do it okay 
So three test cases run and three pass. Zero failure. Okay. If you want to make it fail, you can do it. No problem. Okay. I hope you understand it. Okay. So in just 45 minutes, we have learned how to test a login functionality of any application of only Facebook. You can do the same way. Uh, you can test banking application. You can test uh, e-commerce or uh, healthcare. Okay. We will uh, practice together a lot of times. It is more than 200 hours boot camp it is not just a boot camp uh, that other schools run for 20 hours or 30 hours okay every single day we will practice like 10 minutes uh, we use for lectures okay and then another 20 minutes for demonstrations what we learn from lecture then 30 minutes we practice together practice okay this way in 200 hours boot camp we become expert and confident okay and that's all for today if you like this demo plus okay if you have any question you can also um, ask any question you may to this email number you know automation job news at the rate gmail dot com okay you can ask any question or you can make the comments just below the video okay or you can text us okay uh, and we make sure every student understand each and every concept, every class, every demonstration. If you don't understand, we take extra care after the class. You can sit with a mentor for 30 minutes or 60 minutes until you understand. Okay? We make sure every of our students understand each and every concept and can apply those concepts confidently and solve the problem. This software development and testing industry doesn't want to check your certificates, degrees or they don't care about your age. They only care about your skills, technical skills that you have to uh, solve their problems okay uh, serve their purpose that's all about it if you have just a um, high school diploma good internet connection with your laptop you can start from anywhere in key automation um, automation or else that engineers makes 100k to 250k so in just one to four months you can become expert okay and you can go for it okay we, we have six different programs okay one is just only only train okay some people say i don't need job placement because already my friends and family work in the industry and uh, we have also um, training plus job placement assistance program we have also one-on-one -on -one mentoring program with job placement we call it 
guaranteed program okay um if you work one on one you can complete the program in just one month one month not more than two months okay you can sit with us every other day every other day or every day it's up to you and we have also just QA manual testing course and we have also free boot camp free boot camps uh, requires two years contract this contract income sharing agreements okay and finally we have also software engineering part for three months we will be teaching you front end engineering and back end engineering okay basic stuff actually then during the two to three months you will be placed with some uh, other companies as an intern software engineer we don't say it is a software engineering uh, course because we are not completing the course during the training you will get hired as an intern software engineer and the company will train you more on the job for four to three to six months then uh, they um, after four to six months they give you a role in banking industry Actually, they prepare for the banking industry. Okay. All right. So these are our program. If you are interested, you can just uh, mail us. Okay. That's all for today. Thank you so much. See you in the next session.